Hello and welcome to my paint effects. Um, today I'm going to show you a quick example of how to make a tortoiseshell effect. Um, this is a Victorian oil painting technique. Um, I'm going to be using four colours, yellow, ochre, raw sienna, burnt umber, raw umber. I've got a little yellow panel here that I've primed up and then used uh, a spray paint, a sort of goldy yellow um, as a base coat and I've attached masking tape around it to give it an edge so when we peel off you'll have a sort of idea of the effect. So the first thing we do is we glaze up the panel. I use an oil glaze, this is just an oil scumble base scumble. Um, so I get a bit of rag. get some glaze which is already on there and I'll just rub it onto the surface not too much you just want to give a base coat so when the oil paint sits on there it does its magic right that's it nice and greasy so the first thing we want to do is take a fitch and we mix together some of the yellow ochre and raw sienna. Now I'm going to work down this panel sort of in a diagonal. Um, and the idea is just sort of like think about pools and lakes in a very haphazard manner, just come across using all sides of the brush, building up these sort of archipelagos. Um, I was taught this effect by a man called Harry Levinson in the studio in London many years, 20 years or so ago. Um, and he always used to have these great little stories about how he was doing things when he was painting. Um, I mean, obviously, tortoiseshell in the Victorian times was very sought after as a sort of form of decoration, but it came from a an animal, so it was very expensive, you know, poor tortoises being killed for their their shells and all sorts, but, you know, back then, they did all manner of things for the better of man, supposedly, um, but these clever Victorians also worked out how to make some great reproductions using paint, oil paint in particular. So you can see how I push it in. Push it into the glaze, try not to get anything sort of too thick. It gives this sort of pattern effect coming across the panel. I mean this could be used for all sorts of variations of colour to give a different pattern, to give a different effect. Right, I'd say that's stage one over with. Get a softening brush. Just give it a little sort of soften across, pushing it into the glaze. You just kind of want it to go in one direction. And where some of these are adding up, push it back. Right, second part. Take another fitch and go into your burnt umber. And with this you're just going to sort of tap it into your the head of your lakes you've made. Each time put a new paint onto your brush. Build around your main pool. Don't just leave it sort of one mark. I 
I don't have those stories, no, obviously. Um, well, you know, I can see variations of using this for all sorts of different colourways to make a different pattern, to create different techniques. Hopefully I'll be able to show you some more painted techniques over the period of time. Um, once we got this one down, I'm trying to make it a bit random. I mean, it is a natural surface, and you know, we're trying to recreate. So, not too uniform. Right, I think that'll do for me for that one. And then, go into your raw umber and add again to your sort of lakes that you made just highlighting or low lighting the areas where you want a bit darker this sort of gives it much more solidity I suppose looking a little bit more like a leopard print if I'm honest but I haven't done this in a while <coughs> right take your brush again soften backwards make sure it's nice and clean take a bit of good wipe across at the top. Well, hopefully, once we've got all these brush points so softened out, we'll have something that represents tortoiseshell. So we do a reveal. And there's our little tortoiseshell block. Okay, thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. Hope to see you soon. All best, bye.